Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in as always. And you join me today just on the intersection of the Chiang Mai Lampoon Road and the Mahidon Road over there. And we're heading down in this direction uh, in Nong Hoi at the moment, just to be seeing what's going on. And yeah, let's get into the topic of this video. But before we do that, traffic is pretty bad this time of the day. We're on about 4.20, 4.20 uh, p.m. on Friday and this video needs to be out at six. So we've got an hour and a half to uh, record it, drive back home and then upload it as well so uh, fingers crossed we'll be able to get it done massive tree here <laughs> anyway topic of this video the chiang mai or the expat dream here in chiang mai what does that actually mean because originally i was pretty biased in my understanding of what the actual expat dream was come to thailand have a fantastic life and just live it up but i've been speaking to lots of different people recently and it really got me thinking about just how different people's visions of the expat dream is here in Thailand or in Chiang Mai. What people yearn for and hope for and how they want to live is so varied, it's so wild. But that's why I always say you need to seek advice of multiple people or seek watch videos from multiple people to actually understand how different people can possibly live in Thailand. You might find that you're watching someone's content, how they live, how they how they exist and how they get on in Thailand. And then when you come here, you might not be able to get what you want from the place. So that's something I've just been found interesting really recently. Uh, I met up with uh, a guy, John, another guy called John. Thanks for reaching out, mate. Met up with him yesterday in four places, in Sarapi. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome guy. Anyway, he was talking about how he just basically retired. So a bit older than me, 55 years old retired from the UK and came to Thailand, to Chiang Mai, with a dream. And when he got here, he realized that his dream was not going to come into fruition because what he thought, what he understood and what he garnered from watching things online based on what things are like on the actual ground are so different. And he's not in any bad way or any bad light because of this. He's not th rethinking moving to Thailand, but he thought he was going to come, be able to start a business in a specific industry that he had done in the past and live his expat dream. Now, the business didn't need to work because he's already financially sufficient, but yeah, his expat dream was to come here, start a business in a particular industry. Now, I'm not going to get into that, but he got here and understood that now this business just will not work here. After being here for a month, it only took him a month to realize that. So, any of you guys watching your expat dream move to, Ch to Chiang Mai and you want to do X or you want to do Y, I think you really need to actually spend time on the ground first before you develop or understand what your dream is. Oh, ambulance. Insane traffic on the Mahidon Road today before I get back into the video. Motorcycle accident on one of the overpasses, which is uh, not nice to see. It happens too much. <laughs> see, what's the point of this video is now, am I living my expat dream at the moment? No, I'm not. But I'm still, you know, living the expat life, I suppose, in Thailand. But it's not ex necessarily the expat dream. But my expat dream, if I ever get to it, I think I've shared it on this channel before, is possible to, to get to. It's not impossible in Thailand. So having a dream or having an opinion, having something to think about, when you're not in Thailand, maybe you've never been here before or you've only been on holiday for a few weeks at a time. You, I wouldn't say, you, make your dream to move to Chiang Mai, make your dream to move to Thailand, but don't consider and think about doing certain things until you actually arrive on the ground here. Because you might find yourself that the dreams that you've been having for years when you get here are not possible. Now this is not in a negative way or in a bad way at all. It's just a bit of advice on on that, on that ground because as you're saying John who basically been thinking for the past three three years is going to move to Thailand and he's going to do X and X is impossible but he said he didn't want me to mention this business because there's a potential for him to do it in Cambodia or something so <laughs> uh, maybe that's something um, something to consider for him but yeah the Riverside condo is just over there if anyone interested it's a pretty uh, popular building Dorian shop over there 
And just down here to the right is a place where you can transfer motorcycles into your name or pay motorcycle tax, etc. So we're not too far away. I mean, if we get to the Riverside condo over there, turn left over the bridge, and we can be in Chang Clan in about 15 minute walk from here. So not, not too far at all. But yeah, I just want to give you guys, when we talk, when we're doing these walks and talks, views of different parts of the city. See which ones you may like, like best. Look at that old school house behind there as well. <laughs> but to get back into the topic of the video, the expat dream is something that needs to be worked on, something that needs to be developed when you're here. That's something that I would personally say based on talking to numerous people over the years who have moved here with a vision and ended up doing something different. And that's not necessarily bad to have ideas, to have things that you want to potentially do when you, when you get here. That's, that's, not, that's not the problem. But instead of concentrating about what you're going to do when you get here, concentrate about how to get here first. Once you're here, then think about what you want to do. I'm not saying don't have ideas or don't have opinions or anything like that. I'm not saying that in any way, shape or form. Definitely not. I'm just saying, yeah, maybe it's best to you know, get the dream to be here, not the dream to be here and then do X. Because as lots of people find, that might not be possible and you've wasted so much energy thinking about it. But then also another, another expat dream, some people's dream is to come here, retirement and just live away, live away your, your retirement years. It, having a decent time, that, that could be possible. That's something, it's a pretty basic, a normal dream for lots of people. But I know some people's dreams are to come here and get involved in business, get involved in different ways of life, maybe get married, all kinds of stuff that your expat dream could be. So, I mean, I've shared my expat dream <laughs> for Thailand on this channel before. Now, it's probably not gonna happen because it involves uh, having a property down Tape Road and having like a bit of a restaurant bar downstairs and maybe like a podcast studio and accommodation at the top. Ownership of the building. Now, rest aside of the fact that I'm not Thai, so that wouldn't be possible in that way. The fact that it's too expensive, but that's what, what my dream would be. So I would be interested to know what, what is your guys' expat dream? What is sort of, what is your hopes and dreams for Thailand? What would you like to achieve from it? Now, that being said, don't put too much emphasis on things that are not related to actually being here. Develop your main dream when you arrive on the ground. As it took me a long time, multiple years in Thailand to know what I actually want or the actual dream to work towards is. So, so yeah, that's basically how, what, what this video is about. What is your expat dream? shared mine what's yours oh a little bit of a market here didn't know that was here so we're in Nong Hoi as I said uh, Nong Hoi area of Thailand yeah, a bit of a fruit market there that's not too bad but look at this traffic it's insane around this time like I said we're on about 4 30 at the moment need to get back get a good tour of the area so yeah I think I'm gonna oh one second uh, uh, <laughs> losing the bag Basically, I've been working in Chiang Mai this week, come straight, straight from work, bang, get this video recorded, get it up, up, um, uploaded as soon as possible. I like to do videos every day at six, so I've got an hour and a half to get this up from now. Anyway, really appreciate you guys watching. Would like to know, what is your expat dream? What is your Chiang Mai dream for Thailand? As like I said, if you want to go back, I've, uh, I've already shared mine on the channel. If, it, if you want to look in more depth, probably don't, but <laughs> just something interesting to think about. And yeah insane traffic here in Nong Hoi in Chiang Mai. But yeah, I'm going to call it. Cheers, guys. Really appreciate you watching. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Anyone have any ideas or any topics you'd like me to cover that are quite broad? Then let me know. I'll uh, see if I can do that. Anyway, cheers, guys. Really appreciate it. See you in the next one tomorrow.